All right, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to JA Collects, and I'm your host, Joe. Oh, welcome back, guys. Uh, been away for you know about a week now, posted a couple shorts, but um, otherwise, just a kind of a slow week on the toy front. I got that Jada Toys Ryu figure in, and I put up a short because I was debating whether to open it or not. And unfortunately, the box is not mint, so I'm going to be opening that. So before we get into it, as always, if you could like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when we go you know, live or recording pops up or a short pops up, you can, you can see it. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So I know, obviously, by the title of the video, and you will see the thumbnail when this gets posted, we are unboxing the Mattel Elite. Uh, Street Profits. We picked up the new ones. There's our Montez. And there's our Dawkins. And I mean, I love these figures. They're they're awesome. The first ones that came out, there was a lot of flaws in my opinion. I think Dawkins' chest was like humongous, and I, I just wasn't really digging the figures themselves. I wanted to get them at one point because, you know, you want to keep building to the collection and the street profits. They're one of the best tag teams in the business right now. But, um, yeah, I just, it, the figures didn't really hit for me. These figures, though, I, I really like the way these figures turned out. Dawkins is a little, you know, doesn't have any accessories besides the headband. But, um, you know, for he has his cup, he has his glasses. And a lot of different hands actually comes with for Dawkins. For Dawkins, we only have the grabbing hands. And we have like the come on. We have the hands like that. But see, for Tez, we got we got our glasses, we got the cup, and four extra sets of hands. So it's interesting. Kind of shorted Dawkins on the hands, but we'll pop all these out. And then we'll set our figures up. We'll add them to the wall, and the Street Profits will be immortalized, <laughs> so to say, on the dresser. Oh, man. It's going to be an uh, interesting week. Interesting week of uh, videos that I'm going to be posting. We're definitely not going to be lacking for some content this week. I have two more unboxing videos that are coming this week, and I am, as I've said, one is... Uh, the Jada Toys Ryu figure, and I'm excited for that one. You know, you know, if you haven't seen it, it comes with obviously the figure. It comes with um, extra hands, the Hadouken ball of you know itself, and has a little stand for it. It's it's a really cool figure, and it rivals a lot of these figures that are out on the market right now, and at a very good price of twenty four. It was twenty four twenty five ninety nine. So I mean, for that price, Jada Toys is like doing really well with those figures waiting for wave two to come out because i have for you so i mean i have to get ken and this first wave was just for you fei long and uh chun lee the chun looks really good the fei long looks really good too but and you talk about street fighters uh street fighter it has to be like ryu is my guy if no other person in the series you can call me basic whatever Besides him and, and again, we're gonna call me basic, but Akuma, those two are, are my guys. And I remember everybody sitting there be like, oh, he likes Ryu and Akuma. Who doesn't? You know, but those are really those are my guys when I used to play Street Fighter all the time growing up, you know, different game consoles and everything. You know, what I loved was Marvel vs. Capcom. It's about uh, two. I think it was for the Dreamcast. Oh man. That was a game. And, and I had to Ryu was always like almost like a main for me. So, I had to get Ryu Wave 1. Wave 2 is coming out, and I believe it is Ken, Bison, and Dol Sim. And I want to say there's only one more person. I want to say there's four in Wave, wave 2. Maybe there's only three. I have to look it up. Maybe we'll do something like looking at toy news and stuff like that. I actually had a really good idea, but... I'll talk about that in another video as far as the little different projects I have going around my room right now. I have to show you guys, but I posted a couple um, kit-bashed Marvel Legends that I've done because I want to be able to do kind of like a big 
army builder project. So, I mean, I have from Valiverse, I have G.I. Joe's, I have some Marvel Legends that have kit bashed onto different bodies, both male and female. Um, I mean, you name it, I got a lot over here, and I'm, I'm always looking for more military figures. I have some more coming from PowerCon that are PowerCon exclusive, so it might take a while, but they're, they'll definitely they'll definitely be here. When they get on the channel, we'll definitely do an unboxing. But um, one of the things I was thinking about, I have a military project. I have, obviously, my wrestling project. I'm making, kind of thinking about doing maybe like a like a biker gang. I know a lot of people have done like that. And just a little gang stuff around the room. Just different little projects I'm thinking about. But let's, that's another video. Get off on tangents about stuff I could talk about for hours. But anyway, first off, let's look at the Dawkins. Dawkins figure looking nice. Looking really nice. I love the headband. It says... Ooh, what does that say? Humble smoke season. <laughs> right on the head, man. It's kind of hard to read the blue at first. A little smudge. Then, of course, you have the soft goods, Street Profits jersey looking really nice. Almost like a Miami Vice colors. The colorway is awesome. Street Profits on the back, on the front, number six. Dawkins and number six on the back. I mean, you got Dawkins on the front of the shorts. Number six on the side, and then he has like these leggings with gray stripes and everything. It's a great figure. Pinless, double jointed elbows. He's got almost like I guess he has like a little blue and a little white tape. I almost feel like they're kind of like wrist like wristbands. But a really good figure. He's got his yelling face on and everything. Dawkins in the camera, looking nice, looking nice. Really like this figure. Really like this figure. And I think one of the main things they were talking about from the first figure of Dawkins was like his um just his chest was like so like <laughs> so huge. Yeah, it was just hard to describe. Like he looked like a like a, a bodybuilder. His chest was like mat like just monstrous. This Dawkins looks a lot better, a lot more proportional. I mean, if you guys collect Mattel Elites, you guys know the uh the articulation. Double jointed, pinless knees. You guys know the whole thing, the whole spiel. Double jointed elbows, looking nice. And again, just a nice figure. I really, really, I like this set. And I've been wearing them for a while. So they will definitely be joining in the crew. Put Dawkins over there. And then we jump over to this Montez Ford figure. Now, the Ford figure has a lot of more stuff on it. Uh, Nice head sculpt. Really like the head sculpt. Gold chain. He's got the Street Profits jersey. There are 24 on the front, Ford and 24 on the back. Ford on the shorts, 24 on the side of the leg. Black leggings. Doesn't have the silver striping on his. And then he has that, all his tattoos going down his arm. Pick that up on both sides. Really nice figure. And then, I mean, you have the signature Montez Ford glasses, so, I mean, you got to put them on. You can't just not have them have the, the glasses on. You give him the glasses. You put the cup in his hand. What's Montez Ford drinking in there? What's in that cup? You think it's just water? What do you think? Iced tea? Juice? What, what, could, it, what could it be? Who knows before he does, he goes out and has a little sip of his cup pre match. But there we go. Got the drink in his cup. They'll be posed up and nice a little better later on, but a great figure. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. With the glasses on. I mean, these are, <laughs> I mean, I feel like you can't do much better than these unless you do like Ultimate Edition. Street Profits. There we go. Added to the collection. If Tiz wants to stand up, man, goodness gracious. And then we have our different hands that came with Montez. Got our Fist of Fury hand. We got another drink holding hand. But there we go. That is the unboxing for today. 
uh, let us know. Let me know. Let us know who else is here. Let me know in the comments what you think about these uh, Street Profits figures. Uh, I again, I I enjoy them. I thoroughly enjoy them. I'll be posing them up. I'll be moving them around, see where they fall in line. Uh, you know, I gotta build out the blog line. Still gotta wait for that final solo Sokola. Pop that next to the blog line. I'm thinking maybe a Sami Zayn throw the throw a blood line shirt on him, put him in the back, something. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, that's the unboxing today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for checking me out. And as always, like I said before the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, and we will be having more stuff going up this week. I keep saying we. Who am I talking about? I <laughs> will be having more stuff going up this week. But again, like, comment, subscribe, man, especially subscribe. We can get the toy news out and just talk to different people. That would be awesome. I'm always into finding other people and talking about their toys and their collections and just, just seeing where it goes in there. But it's been fun. I have to go to football practice, my second one, because the grind never stops. <sighs> Wish me luck and enjoy the rest of your day. This has been Jay Collects. I'm Joe. Until next video. That's it.